A common additive in your drinking water is at the center of a political and health debate. Nearly 63% of Americans, 63% of Americans have water with fluoride that comes from the tap. Now that includes all municipalities in Shelby County. Studies have shown that the mineral fluoride prevents cavities and saves money in the long run, but not everyone agrees. Fox 13 health reporter Mandy Rock explains to us the debate and why some experts want fluoride removed from the water altogether. When you turn on your tap in Shelby County, there's a small amount of fluoride mixed in with the water that comes out. But does it cause more harm than good? We asked two health experts to weigh in. We eat stuff and put stuff in our bodies every day that we have no idea what is in it at all. You can't see it or smell it, but there's a good chance your drinking water contains fluoride. The mineral has been added to the water of many communities, including Memphis, for decades. After dentists noticed, it significantly helps with tooth decay and better enamel. Dental cavities is actually the most common chronic disease of childhood. Um, and we've seen a drastic reduction in those uh, since uh, we've been putting fluoride in the water. But the nomination of Robert Kennedy Jr. as president-elect Trump's head of health and human services is sparking new debate over the benefits. Kennedy believes local water systems should remove fluoride after a recent scientific paper found a possible link between high fluoride levels and lower IQs in children. But pediatrician Jason Yan said those fluoride levels were double what the EPA recommends. In the U.S. and in Memphis, we, we use much lower levels of fluoride and uh, other studies over the years uh, have not shown similar results. Mike McGill, the president of Water PIO, a PR consultant for water systems, says more research is needed. He warns facts, not conspiracy theories, should inform the debate. Imagine if a young child has issues with their teeth at five, six, seven years old. Well, that's with them for the rest of their lives. And that's what fluoride and water helps prevent. What is being argued right now are the same things we've heard about year after year after year that the facts actually debunk. Covering your health, Mandy Rock, Fox 13 News.